Hey there! Today's video is going to be fun and ridiculous. You see, this video is about TikTok. Well, actually, this video is about learning new software. Okay, actually, this video is an ad for SolidWorks, but really, it's about me learning how to use SolidWorks for TikTok. I know some of you are rolling your eyes just at the very mention of TikTok, but I'm one of those crazy people who wants to try out all these new platforms and have fun with them, and I tried it out. I put my goofy pets on there, and it turns out people love them. I have something like 170,000 followers on TikTok. There's one video of that goose back there that has 17 million views. So I'm having fun doing it, people are having fun watching it, and it presents a perfect opportunity to do a project to learn new software. You see, when I'm making these TikToks, I'm always struggling with getting my camera, you know, my, my phone balanced up against something to get a shot while I interact with Chester here or Alice. This gives me the perfect opportunity to learn this new software by actually designing something. I'm gonna make a camera holder that can just snap right onto a tree or a fence post or something like that to hold my, my cell phone for me while I make these TikToks. And hopefully you'll join me and learn a few things about using SolidWorks in the process. Let's talk about this uh, software and this package from SolidWorks. It's this new thing that they're doing. If, if you're unfamiliar with SolidWorks, it is huge. If you're in manufacturing, if you're doing mechanical engineering, you've played with SolidWorks. And usually a license is fairly expensive for like a homemaker, like a maker at home. Uh, but now they're doing this new program where it's $99 a year. Later this year, they're gonna offer $9.99 a month. But right now it's $99 a year, gets you access to a whole bucket full of stuff. So let's just take a glance at what that gets you. First off, you get access to SolidWorks, the complete package. Now, I don't know how to use SolidWorks, but I can see here that this is a parametric kind of um, modeling software, which means you do things like you make sketches. Here, I'll draw a shape. So let's say I drew this shape. This is um, going to be my uh, plastic case to hold some electronics, okay? So I've made the shape, now I want to extrude it. There's gotta be a tool some here to, somewhere here to extrude. Oh, it's a drawing. I have to close the drawing. Now I can extrude this. Um. <clears throat> By going to features here and extrude. And then we can decide how thick this needs to be. So we want this to be 60 millimeters. All right, I've got it in millimeters because that's how I work. And that looks about right to me. Boom, now I've got this 3D object. I need to put some mounting holes in it to hold my uh, imaginary electronics. So let's see, somewhere here they've got a hole maker, I guarantee it, hole wizard. Okay, so we've got holes on the left here. Let's see, I want that type of hole. And let's go to positions. So this is the face that's gonna get them. I want one there, one there, one in the middle here, and one there. That looks about right. And I'm gonna say, okay. And now we've got holes. Now I could have, of course, gone in and adjusted all of that. Here's a cool little trick. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this some kind of, um, I don't know, a, uh, a hollow thing. So let's grab this and let's say shell. And right now it's set to a 10 millimeter shell on this face, which, let's see here. I want to show a preview. That looks good to me so let's say okay and now i've got this 10 millimeter shell with these standoffs in it now this of course isn't an actual useful model for anything but i was just showing how quickly you can end up with um solid cad results and not really knowing what you're doing here let's chamfer this edge i don't know how to do that in this software but i'm just going to look here fillet fillet and chamfer are often interchangeable chamfer uh would be 
kind of a more rigid kind of angular thing and fillet is I often say fillet even though uh, <clears throat> I think it's technically fillet so I have screwed up my fillet I did it wrong Let's grab just that edge and let's do a fillet radius. Can't be 10 millimeters, let's do one millimeter. There we go, now we've got a little one millimeter fillet. Bam, done. It's so fast. So that's SolidWorks. Now, I am excited about having access to SolidWorks, but there's some other stuff I'm more excited about. With this package, you get access to the online, the new cloud-based software for, from uh, Dassault Systems and SolidWorks. And that breaks down into three main useful things, in, in my opinion. There's a lot of stuff there, but three main useful things. There's their parametric design tool, their subdivision modeling design tool, which I'm really excited about. I'll get to that in a bit. And their online communities where you can talk with um, engineers and professionals that all use SolidWorks. Let's jump in and look at some of that. Now, online is where things get really exciting. Their cloud-based system has a few major components going for it. The main thing is that it's online, it's cloud-based, which means I can use it anywhere I have an internet connection. Now, you might use that to go, uh, say, to your local makerspace or your university or out in your workshop or somebody else's house and log on and modify things. I'm going to use it to sit outside with my goats or maybe I'll use it to sit by the river. As long as I've got my internet connection and my Wi-Fi does reach that far, I can sit down here by the river and design all day long. Now, we're back at my desktop so that uh, you guys can see what's happening on my screen. It's easier to screen capture here. Let's talk about the three main selling points of this online platform that I really like. Here, let's look real quick. Let's start with their parametric modeling software. It's called X-Design, and it is pretty much what you would expect from your basic parametric modeling software. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up here with a new component. And we'll just kind of do the same thing I did in SolidWorks to see how similar it is. So uh, I'm going to create a new sketch on this plane. Let's grab this wobbly, blobbly line here. And let's connect it up. And then, okay, so we have that. Now let's do an extrude to give it some depth. Let it think here for a moment. Look at that. Now we have something 3D. Let's make it uh, 50 millimeters thick. It's going to think for a moment. Then I say OK. Now let's hollow that sucker out to make it into a dish of some kind. Uh, let me just explore here. Oh, uh, there it was. So there's a feature to hollow it. Let's say we want a 10 millimeter wall. Mm, yeah, that looks good. And then let's put a chamfer on this bottom lip here. 10 millimeter chamfer is a bit much. So let's do a 5 millimeter. Oh, that's a fillet. Fillet, fillet, which is it? Mm. All right. Look at that. Just like you'd expect. Of course, you can export this for 3D printing and, uh, and share it, you know, collaborate with other people. Now, now I have a background 20 years ago that came from modeling in 3D Studio Max, Maya, Lightwave, Soft Image, and Blender. And those programs you do things like you literally grab vertices, you know, the vertexes, and you move them around to make the shapes you want. But in parametric modeling, there's not a lot of that. There's a little bit, but there's usually not a lot of that. You're usually working with parameters and exact distances and stuff like that. So here, they've actually got both options totally available. You can go into this software called X-Shape, and you can start dragging around the vertexes to make the shapes you want. That is awesome. And here's another cool thing. You can actually jump back and forth between the two packages. So let's say you designed some you know, mechanical structure, and then you wanted to put a shell around that that was organic. You could take your mechanical structure from X-Shape, or from, from X-Design, and hop over into X-Shape and it's still there and then you can build your, your organic shell around it. 
that is exciting. Well, it's designed. I made the phone holder. Unfortunately, I screwed up the footage. Uh, didn't hit record <laughs> for the design process. So I don't have the design process of actually designing it, but I can show you the final product. And you know, I'm not too heartbroken because it was kind of embarrassing uh, uh, some of the kind of newbie mistakes that I made, but I got it done. Now let's look at this thing. Okay, so what we have here are two arms that wrap around a tree. I made it kind of roughly the same diameter as a lot of the trees that I have out here on my property and my big fence posts. Uh, so it'll wrap around and kind of hold on. It was inspired by the legs of a beetle. You know how they kind of have the hooks for feet and they kind of grab onto things. So you can see that here in the kind of arms of it. Up here, you can't see it that well. Let me see if I can switch to a cutaway view. Um, ooh. And bring it up. Mm -hmm. And you can see here now, look at this. There's a dovetail connection here between the two pieces. And what that's gonna allow me to do is if I wanna make other adapters for the front of it that can hold the phone maybe sideways or hold something else, I can. Uh, so let's exit out of that view. You can see the whole thing here. It looks good. It's measured out. It should uh, fit my phone just right. Let's print it and see how it turns out. So here it is. Uh, it printed perfectly. First time, everything fits perfectly. It's the two pieces, like I said, you can really see that dovetail and how that works here. So I could put a different adapter on it. And look at this, look at that flex. So there you have it. I used the new uh, cloud platform from SolidWorks to solve my problem and I learned a lot in the process. Be sure to check out their maker program. Like I said, that includes their online cloud platform that has the parametric modeling, the subdivision modeling, and of course that massive community of people. I've got links to all of it down in the description below. Be sure to check it out and I'll see you on the next video and maybe on my TikTok too. You sweet boy. No, don't climb on me right now. Don't climb on me right now. Use the new cloud platform from... <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. From SolidWorks to solve the problem I had and I learned a bunch along the way. Uh, check it out for sure. There's so much to offer there. They have, of course... Alice? <laughs>